x intercept and y intercept we'll see practically what is the meaning of x intercept and y intercept for the given three functions the first function for example is a linear function second is exponential function and the third one is quadratic function If I want to see what is the value of y intercept for all these equations, y intercept for a linear function, it's a point, suppose your graph is like this, and it's a point on y axis where the graph intersects it for the exponential function. Exponential function can be increasing, it can be decreasing. So this is a point which is y-intercept for a quadratic function. For a quadratic function, your graph can be increasing, it can be decreasing. So the point on y-axis where the graph intersects y-axis is the y-intercept. Similarly, if I talk about x-intercept, x-intercept is a point on x-axis. It's a point on x-axis where the graph intersects. This is x-intercept. On this axis, you cannot find any x-intercept. This axis, it has two x-intercept, which is existing like this. These are x-intercept. For a quadratic function, x-intercepts are also called zeros. are also called zeros. Now how to obtain its value for a given question? Suppose you have any question either if uh, it is of linear function or it is of exponential function or it is of quadratic function but its value can be obtained very easily by just substituting the independent variable as zero. Like you have two axes, one corresponding to y axis and one corresponding to x axis. Either of the equation it can be you can obtain the y-intercept by just substituting the value of x as 0 so if you have a function of x as y y is fx so y-intercept can be obtained by putting x equals 0 in the given equation if you have an exponential function which is of the form y equals e raised to x just put x equal to 0 to get y-intercept for any quadratic equation also, you can obtain the value of y-intercept by just putting x equal to 0. It is not necessary that every time or always you will have x. To make it more general, I can just explain you as, like you put the independent variable, the variable corresponding to x-axis is independent. And the variable corresponding to y-axis is dependent. So it's a point on y-axis. Y-intercept is a point on y-axis when you put the dependent variable equal to 0. When h is a function of time, you might be having an equation like h is a function of time. t is independent variable. ht is dependent. So if you put t equals 0, it gives you the y-intercept. It is the point of the beginning of the curve. So anywhere, if you want y-intercept, just put the independent variable equal to 0, you can obtain the y-intercept. Similarly, for x-intercept, you need to put dependent variable equal to 0. For example, you have ht as a given equation like minus 5t squared plus 50t plus say 3. If I look at this equation, ht, ht becomes dependent. ht is dependent variable and t is independent variable here. If I want to obtain the y-intercept, 
y-intercept can be obtained because ht is dependent this is representing y-axis here so it can be obtained by putting t equals 0 similarly if I want to obtain x-intercept or zeros for the given equation then I need to put the dependent variable equal to 0 that is ht equals 0 it is just y vice versa for y-intercept put x equal to 0 or the value corresponding to the independent variable equal to 0 for x-intercept the y coordinate is 0 so you put the dependent variable equal to 0 any axis it can be or any equation it can be either it is a linear equation or exponential equation or it's a quadratic equation for any equation you can obtain x-intercept and y-intercept using this concept